hello and welcome back uh, so last video we have understand uh, how to create a record and we have seen the record also here okay uh, yeah of course uh, there is only one record you can see like this okay if there are multiple records uh, it'll be not looks good if you uh, if you want to see the data like it's not in a table format okay if you want to search for a particular record you can't actually get this it's a simple black and white format and uh, it's, it's, it's not that pretty good okay so i show you uh, there is something called mongodb compass so that's a gui environment which you can visualize the data out there okay so that mongodb compass how did you install very simple so to install mongodb compass go to mongodb official website okay yeah in mongodb uh, go to software there is something called compass okay select compass okay and here uh, click on right now yep here right hand side you can see uh, version windows and zip file let me get the zip file and download so it will download your compass so let's wait for the download to finish mm. it's downloading okay that's done so actually for mongodb compass no installation required just extract the zip file okay uh, just show me in folder it opens in this folder yeah so this is what it is here compass you can just right click and extract to mongodb compass okay so it's been extracted here and uh, once it is extracted just open it in that you can find something called mongodb compass and application so this one you can just send to your desktop okay so now you check on your desktop there's a shortcut mongodb compass let's double click on this to open a mongodb compass so that's a complete gui environment for complete mongodb okay so i think it's opening okay let's wait for this um, so it is loading few plugins and this will be ultimate okay you can you know visualize the complete tables and all okay so once it is done uh, you have to enter your database URL to connect. It can be MongoDB cloud or it can be local. Uh, so what is your local database URL? Generally, how did you find the local database URL is? See, when you say Mongo enter, there is a URL, right? Yes, this is the MongoDB local URL. MongoDB colon slash slash uh, 127.001 colon 27017 that is the local mongodb url let's give the same thing here so http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 27017 uh, sorry not http it's a mongodb I forgot mongodb colon slash slash 127.001.27017 that's a port number click on connect so see the existing three, data, three databases admin config local existing and your database your brain db so if you expand it there is a customer and uh, what you what you got the data here for example show dbs i say use ui brains db and uh, let's say 
db dot customer dot find dot pretty okay see only one record is my name <coughs> so you can find that here just click on customers see data first name last name object id everything is there okay and you can also display in uh, different formats as well uh, view this format or you can display uh, an object proper format or else you can display a table format as well so this looks good no id first name last name email state country everything has come that's one thing and now uh, so we have actually installed one record right and what my plan is i'm going to install this complete json into my system this complete json file i want to insert into my system so how did you install is how do you insert is this function right insert one so this is to insert one record if you want to insert multiple records there is something called insert many insert many and this accepts array of objects so we already have array of objects only thing you have to mention is uh, insert many so let's make this empty so db dot customer dot insert many and here i supposed to paste the array let me get this whole array okay the array which you got from the mockery website and this space it in between them okay fine and let's check yeah so now this will become your command to insert multiple records so where did you do that copy this go to command line cls paste and enter see you got these many records inserted and you got ids of them you want to see that back here and just refresh see you got the complete data around uh, 26 records 25 plus 1 extra is mine 26 okay so this is the best way to view the data okay fine and even if you want to change it actually you can change it from compass itself no shell commands also required you can just click on edit and you can change this gmail to something navi dot ui brains at gmail.com and update see it is updated you can update like this so if you if you want to find it yeah so what it discuss actually is uh, one is insert operation insert is find one or find many got it okay if you want to read for read operation i want to read the data so for reading we have a function called find function okay so i'll show you so let's say db dot customer dot find this will get the data if you want pretty format just say dot pretty if you want to count the number of rows just say dot count you want to see that copy go here and paste it 26 records okay and if you want to search for a particular record okay so db dot customer dot find is nothing but select star from customer as per sql query this will be select star from customer table okay so i want to have select star from customer where customer name is good something so you want to know that let's say db dot customer dot find so where did you give the condition is in the find it is make an object where my condition is uh, first name Naveen so let's say first name colon that's a condition okay okay so first name Naveen this is a condition copy this back here paste it enter see email id 
navin dot ui brains because i have updated from here either you update from here or you also have some shell commands to to update it okay that's how it will be and uh, okay so if you want to get data based on not just name if you want to find by id because every record uniquely identified by id right so if you want to find a record by id so what you do is see here uh, underscore id yeah you have to mention something called underscore id and the value will be something like this uh, object id object id in the brackets you specify the id for example which person you want this one some marine person is there na so that person id i'll copy i will paste in my query okay i guess it will be in quotes it should be in quotes yeah so this is how you will mention the id of a record and let's copy this and whose record it is it is marine record so let's copy this back here uh, cls paste it enter see you get the marine record okay so this is how you going to search data and uh, uh, if you want to sort it okay if you want to sort the uh, names based on a first name you can do that so it's like db dot customer dot find all the records dot sort based on uh, uh, first name let's say like this first name colon one so one is a sense ascending order minus one is a sense a uh, descending order okay dot pretty okay let's copy this copy this back here cls paste it enter see you got the data actually in a ascending order see a a a l a l e a n b b e got it ascending order so if you want to get some limit like this first to five rows i need so there is a limit as well okay same like this you can just limit to it dot limit of five so ascending order first five characters when first five records you get copy back here cls paste it enter see 1 2 3 4 5 okay 1 2 3 4 five that's all five records okay this is how it will be if we say something called 2 you get the first two two records okay go here and cls see only two records and that too in a ascending order okay if you don't want ascending order according to database what is there was my name and second bar something is there i want these two records so what you do you can just get rid of the sort you don't need to write the sort no sorting required okay so i need this copy so go here uh, cls paste enter so navin and bar okay that how it will be you want the last two records the say sort minus 1 limit 2 okay this give the negative value okay so this is all about fetching data just read operation okay so let's meet in the next video and we understand how to make a update and delete operations using the shell commands okay so thank you so much let's meet in the next video thank you